Welcome to Breakfast in Africa. This, this bright sunny morning, I'm very privileged to be in the land of the most beautiful, the most strong, and the most acclaimed Africans you'll ever find anywhere. And here with me now, I have the Prime Minister and the Minister of Defense of the J Kingdom. We are going to discuss so many things about Karamoja. Many, many times we hear about Karamoja as being undeveloped. In fact, there is even a common saying that we will not wait for Karamoja to develop. But is really Karamoja backward? Is it undeveloped? And today's topic is everything you know about Karamoja is wrong. And I have brought the Prime Minister and the Minister of Defense to help elaborate the many areas and the many reasons why people think Karamoja is backward. And I, for one, have been here, I've interrupted, I've interacted with people here. It's, I think it's the most beautiful of all cultures that I've ever had to encounter. Right now, you see me dressed as a Karamojong. It's deep appreciation for these people's culture. And they have been able to keep this culture for thousands and thousands of years. This is how they have lived literally for thousands of years. And it's very crucial that we as other Africans from other cultures and other countries come to appreciate what they have done for Africa. Because Africa without culture, even if we fight the economic war, even if we fight other wars, but if we lose the cultural war, eh, we'll still be lost. Because what makes us Africans is our culture. And what keeps us together is our culture. So Mr. Prime Minister, uh, I'll give you an opportunity to introduce yourself uh, fully to our viewers. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. I am called Akorejin Bosco, Jokotao. I also call Logra Apangachi in our uh, cultural name. I'm actually known as Logra Apangachi. So I am actually the Prime Minister of the Jia Kingdom. And are you? I am, I am called Locheng Julius Lutirata. I am the Defense Minister for the Jia Kingdom. Yes. The first question I have for Mr. Prime Minister and uh, the Minister of Defense is uh, who are the Karamojo and uh, where do they originate from? Yes. Yeah, actually, uh, the Karamojongs, when you call Karamojongs, when, for us, when you say Karamojong, you refer actually to the Bokora, the Madeniko, the Pian, and the Dodoth. But when you come where you are now, this is G, and this is the G. The G, uh, we are called, our land is called Naji, mm. and uh, our people are called Giji. Yes. Then our language, is Najie. So sometimes we speak Najie, mm. but we don't speak Akaramojo. Mm. But we listen to Akaramojo, mm. we listen to their essence, but sometimes they are very difficult for them to understand our language. So but they also listen to our language. So in other words, you're telling me that you, you, you're not a part of the Karamojo? We are geographically part of the Karamojo. Yes, just geographically, but geographically, not culturally. And uh, we also share the culture. Yes. Because when you come to initiation, mm. almost the top initiation rank mm. almost look the same. Yes. But when you come to the asset, they are different. Mm. Yeah. But also the one of the G are different. So my question should have been, who are the G, and where do they originate from? Yeah. I think. So. so mm. I think the G. You see, people have written and none. Much has not been written about the G. Mm. But some people who wrote it says this people came from Abyssinia, in Ethiopia. Yes. And, uh, but to us, I think we only passed there. For us, when you look and we, we are tracing our culture, our we look the, like Jews. We are the Jews. The word G, I think, originated from the word Jews. Mm. And the people, when the, the Jews were passing, they said the G. Mm. So we came actually, I think we passed via the Palestinian land, mm. and we entered through uh, uh, Ethiopia, and we came directly and settled in Toro, mm. 
while the Boko, while the Karamojong settled in Nakadanya, mm -hmm. a place called Nakadanya. Yes. And when you look at in 98 when we went there, we saw that all the Karamojongs, their real enemy were the Ji yes. and the Turkana, yes. our brothers. So we are more linked to the Turkana than uh, we are more of the Turkana and the Toposa than, than the Karamojongs. Because when you see the way of their migration, the Bokora moved to the southwest, mm. to the western direction. Yes. While the Pian moved to the south, and the road moved to the northlands. And when you go to Nakadanja, you can still trace their footmark where they each but, depart from. Yes. While when we came, we got some smaller groups of people, mm. according to our elders. Yes. That when we entered, we found the Nikuliak of G. The Nikuliak were set around Maru. Mm. And uh, that is the most, and they were, uh, they lived by gathering wild fruits and anti. Yes. But when the G came with their sophisticated way of defense system and they conquered and they settled it you know, mm. in, and they all swallowed that small community called Nikulia. While the Dutroth went and found the hick along the foot of the mountain, but they dropped them up the mountain. Mm. And then the Bokora also, the Madeniko, got the tepes on top of Mount Moroto. They yes. were at the foot, but because of uh, the aggressiveness of the Karamujong, yes. this ball climbed and on top of the mountain. Yes. Up to date, that's it there. Maybe my brother will also yes. have the first yes. um, <coughs> Mine is a supplement. If you look at the three, the three uh, tribes he has mentioned, those are the original Nkarmojo, the original ones. So those are the Ik, yes. those are the Tepef, yes. those are the Ji. The Lubos are like the Batwa yes. on the other side of the mountains. Yes. So, when they they're came, also short in stature. Yeah, they have the same as say, the, the, the mountain associated mountain kind of. Yes, thing, yes. Yeah. So when they when uh, when they observed them to 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 the when the the, the migrants now came. Yes. Like the the Madinico, the the Dodos, the Gia, of course, were migrants. We came in and we found. Them. So. They now said they found Karamoja. The land was very, very fertile. What they were looking for, the pasture, yes. the, the water, the rainfall. Because it, there were so many other things that forced them from, no, from those areas where they came from. Yes, yes. Like diseases, a uh, lot of droughts, mm -hmm. auto, all those things. Now they found, the GA found and they settled now in, in GA where we are. Okay. Okay. <coughs> now, uh, the second question is uh, the J system. It's so fascinating. I, I want you to elaborate for me. How is it set up? Like simple English terms. Yeah. How is the J system set up? The J are made up of two major clans. Yes. And the two major clans is one is called Kurakol and one is called Lodin. Yes. Out of the two major clans, these two major clans form the J state. Mm. The G traditional state. Yes. Before the British, they had their own dynasty, and uh, we even resisted the British. They resisted our forefathers. Yes. This is the British. I understand. And even they contribute to the liberation of Acholi and the Chief of Witch. Yes. Who resisted uh, that? We, we sent. Uh, I think our father said they sent over one thousand G to go and rescue Acholi from the hands of the British. Yes. And, and that's why some of them actually remain up to now and have become part of Acholi. During now, when the ceremonies are there, when the, the headless council now sits in yes. the kingdom, that yes. level of the kingdom, there is the most respected clan. That is means Langa. Mm. They are the ones who now officially open the ceremony and bless the ceremony. Yes. That is, if the the, 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 the kingdom council of elders sit, mm -hmm. 
and they want to like to cast away a bad disease. Yes. They want to 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 pray for something, maybe the rain mm. to come. Or maybe make the policies. Yes, they want to pass policies to to the kingdom. Yes. So it is that clan that they call. It's actually a very special clan. Mm. And sometimes in in a very bad occasion, if they want to chase something uh, they will kill the cow without using a spear. Wow. Yes. They and now just, how is that achieved? They will blow the the, the air through the the thing of the, the, the cow. Right. Just blow it like this. They blow the wind. The wind. With their mouth. Mm. And sure. you will not see and that. It's man. done by actually in Kotiang. Mm. Have you witnessed this? Yes. Several times. Several times. Just blowing like, like this. this and then mm. they will come covering the man, then the, the man will die. The cow will die. Wow, that's so that's quite that's very very that is a, what is it according to the setting in other communities. Yes. The G are very very unique. Yes. Yeah. How how did it come about to put the elder at the, at the top of the society and being the one because I understand the oldest uh, as long as they make a decision like this, no one will be able to alter that decision. So please explain to us how this eldership system is uh, set up. Uh, with the elders, it is actually elders is an asset to us. Yes. Something very important, and it's a responsibility of everybody in the community to take charge and to take control of the elders. And our elders are respected more than any other thing. You can compare my elder with even the minister for this government mm. or for any government. Yes. I, I will attend to my elders than to attend to LC5 because my elder knows the secret of my community. Yes. While the AC5 knows about the budget of their money. Yes. So, an, an elder, the biggest one is of Nimor, Nimor weight. Yes. And uh, those are the, the last uh, part of, and uh, there can be many, but of course they are declaring number. Until that, all that, uh, that group get finished, then the rest will take the, the responsibility. next generation will take the responsibility. While for us, who have been prime ministers and ministers of the kingdom, for us, we are the say, we are the spokesperson, we are the protector mm. of our clan, of our culture, of our history, of our language. Yes. So there's no way you can come and infiltrate our people with bad policies, with maybe the program that divide us or the program that kill us. Yes. We are there to stand and say no. So whatever we see, whenever we see any program that is bringing death in our kingdom, we call the elders council, we tell them, and they say, if they say no, it is actually no. Mm. It will never, it will never. Mm. Like for example now, we are still debating, why these our women, some of them have started blood flowing throughout. Yeah. We have found out that these, some of these people, uh, they have, they have been put metal in their body and we say for family planning. So I said, but what is this? So we have to understand. Yes. Some of this program that our government also should understand is it good for the people? Mm -hmm. Because God has created us with intact body. There's nothing that God need to enter into our foreign body. Yes. So some of these things are more consumed. Now you compare our children who have been in the every day. They force it compared to the children who grew up in our kraals those days, they are very strong. Mm -hmm. We have elders who have reached 105 years, some of them 90, they have never gone for this modern treatment, yeah, but they are very healthy. So that is we say, our elders uh, matters a lot in our life. Now, uh, what is the major economic activity of the J people? Yeah. <coughs> our major economic activity is, uh, as you are aware, Partly in Karamoja, yes. as a G, yes. we depend on a cow. Mm. And it's of reason after people have been disarmed, is when people now have gone to look for agriculture. And yes. agriculture, they also have, it's not so much modern, mm. it's just a subsistence farming, something yes. very small. But majorly, there is to live on the cow. You mentioned uh, the shift from disarmament and then to 
agriculture. What is the relationship between this disarming, disarming the, the J people, the Karamojong, and, agri and the shift to agriculture? What is the relationship? Like? Yeah, actually, okay. um, as is going to give before, mm. people that were engaged in raids mm. of the nearby communities. Yes. That is upon the test of the parade. Yes. <coughs> so that was uh, I could recall that one was their main economic activity, especially the audience. Yes. Yes. So as the government came in and found that there was a lot of insecurity, people could not go for farming, mm. people could not move free, ah. people could not do what. Yes. Eh? So they came and had that mind of removing the gun from yes. the community. Yes. So as as per now, the community is very free. Yes. They don't have these other threats like uh, thieves from grounds uh, mm -hmm. and so on. So people have now turned their mind to go for agriculture. Yes. Yes. So As according to you, the Minister of uh, Defense, the summit was totally a positive move by the government. It was a positive move by the government and it was also embraced by the local people. Was it really embraced by the people and then they really, did they take it on uh, voluntarily or was there some kind of resistance here and there? Mm, I could say there was a resistance because the uh, sensitization first of all. Yes. If I could say the summit was in three phases. Yes. Yeah, there was the first, uh, the one they called peaceful disarmament. Mm -hmm. Then there was this one they, they called the uh, first disarmament. Mm. That this one is now first and I don't know that term it on the second one. Mm. So it has a, it, it was really embraced by like elders yes. because they, they were the most affected. Yes. But the youth like me yes. never wanted it because that was the main thing he could get his cows by force from anyway. Okay. That was the main thing he could defend himself. Like so the youth actually never wanted the girl to go. Mm. But the woman and the elder mm. wanted the guns to be. Okay. Our, actually, our livelihood is one past reason. Yes. Past reason. And that is keeping of domestic animals. Like yes. cows, goats, sheep, cattle, mm. donkeys. That is what we keep here. Yes. And of course, you know, you are asking how did this shift after the summer? To agriculture. Okay, as I told you, I thank this government for liberating us. Mm -hmm. After liberation, first of all, we were internally displaced. About 100 years, 50 years ago, we are internally being displaced. And that's why some people say that there is a third largest village in East Africa is got in Gia. Those are the largest displaced people because mm -hmm. they were displaced by the Turkana. And they came in one place to form the security, traditional security, uh, uh, how do you call it, camp, uh, camp yes. that can resist the, 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 the Turkana, mm. the Dodo, the, the Madeniko, and the Pokora. Yes. So now, after the summer, why did we go to agriculture? Because during the summer, it was not actually something simple. Yes. People lost cows to the raiders. Mm. to those who were still harm. They also, the plane, the gun chief came and destroyed our animal. Mm. So most people did not have anything to, to look for. So mm. they switched to agriculture. Mm. And some of them mobilized themselves, they went to resettlement areas. Yes. Like the first resettlement areas in G is Lobanya, mm. then the second is Moriti. Yes. Then another one, is the, where we went yesterday, the Peace mm. Village. Yes, the Peace Village. Moriti, yeah, which yeah. was created by me actually. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and uh, we have Kangoro, Karuakumo, we have now Lolito, we have Kopor, we have Kaleda, we have Katukenyang, we have Waros, we have uh, Kotidany, we have in uh, the other side of Kopusang. Mm. So, and more has <coughs> been created because people lost their cows in raids were not recovered, mm. some people lost because of the gunship. Yes. And also, the gun, the absence of the gun, 
brought in new ideas. What can we do next than raiding agriculture? Mm -hmm. And then the NGOs came in to bring in vegetables, what, what, educated people, groups. So that's how we, we now have two major activities. That is, uh, we have become agro now. Mm -hmm. That's keeping yeah. animals and as well as rearing. Yes. Yeah. We have members in the community. Could you please elaborate, uh, give us uh, their titles and their roles in the community? Because as a setup, we need to know this one does this one, this one does this, you're the prime minister, but we don't even know how you came about to be a prime minister. Whether the GA community has a king, where does the king sit, what is his role, who are his ministers, something like that. So who is the head of the GA community? Yeah, first of all, uh, we have the structures mm. in our kingdom. Yes. The top, the top structure is you know, the clan leaders. Yes. And their main thing is to make decisions, to make policies, yes. and to make the daily running of the community. Yes. Which is the clan leaders. Yes. While we say we have the spiritual leaders and the elderly women who give support to the clan leaders. Yes. The spiritual leader advises how the community should be run. Yes. He predicts what will happen. Harvest, good harvest, bad harvest, rain, mm. no rain, calamities, disease, mm. and how to cope up with. Yes. And then the elders are mobilized to pray to the Creator to to to, to cast it. So uh, and again Beneath the clan leaders, we have the clan leaders. Mm. And these are the retired raiders. Yes. And these are the commanders of the clan. Mm. And the custodian of the cattle. Yes. And they are the ones to make sure the daily pasturing and watering of the animals. Yes. And the migrations of animals. Based on the information given by the clan leaders. Mm. That migrate the crowd in this side. So it is actually the administrators of the crowd yes. and the commanders of the clan. Mm. Then beneath the crowd leader, we have the Karachona. And this Karachona are the army of the clan. Yes. The soldiers of the clan. Mm. The messengers and the implementers of the policies given by the clan leaders, by the spiritual leaders. Yes. And by the elder women. Mm -hmm. And then beneath the Karachona, we have now the shepherds. Yes. And these are the people who take, look after the cows and take them for watering, mm. for pasture. Mm. While beneath the elder women, we have women which are below from 40 to 50 years. These are the people who are performing the, with, with the elder women, the child ceremonies naming and they see what the elderly women are doing and to pass to the young women uh, called Ngapesur, yes. Na Karachona. Yes. And then we have now the community. Mm. Uh, under the community, we now have elderly people, those ones who have beyond 100 years. Yes. They are no more, they are, they are important, they can consult them, they cannot walk. Then the children, the people with disabilities, their lights also fall out of the community because they don't have any say in the cultural center. Mm. They are not recognized. They don't have anything to play there. Yes. And if they want to pass information, they have to pass through a clan leader. Mm. And then they speak. Okay. Even me, the prime minister, I can't not go to the council of elders just using the, 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 the position. No, I have to consult that they have something to pass, and it is announced. Then the elder said, yes, let him come. Actually, talk. ours is uh, as a kingdom. Yes. We feel we need to, to be recognized. Mm. Why? Because as we speak now, we, we, we need to have at least some formalized form of uh, Recognition of those of this kingdom and Yes. Uh, like for example, uh, 
the Kabakas, the, the Toros, and so on, mm. are more well placed than being recognized by the yes, government. Yes. And they respect them. Mm. So we want also to have this intervention to be done and to at least also be in that level mm. that has been within the GA community and, mm. and the family general. Okay. And actually, my brother, the army and the Karachuta will still be fighting. Mm. Without the intervention of the elders, and some of us, who are of the government, uh, the gun will still be there. Mm. Because the elders play a greater role. Yes. And I wanted this government to recognize the cultural institutions of the GA Kingdom and support them. Okay. We need them to be supported as any other kingdom. Okay. Now, uh, I want you to, to explain to us the, <coughs> the attributes, the different attributes of the GA community. Uh, on the political front, on the social front, and on the, uh, the economic front, like the GA, how is it set up economically, politically, and socially to to to, to provide a conducive environment for people within the community and people around the community? How is it set up politically, socially, and economically? I've, I've told you that socially we have the clan leaders. Yes. That is the clan. Yes. And they pass their policy. The traditional parliament called aggregate. Yes. And we have very many aggregate, but we have two major ones, with several ones, but with different functions. Mm. Each aggregate has its own functions. Yes. There's also that one for war, and there's that one for peace. Yes. There's that one that can bring sickness, and there's that one that cannot bring sickness. Mm. So we have all, and then we our defense system is based on the credits. Yes. Um, that is our political. Uh, you know, okay. they are the clan leaders, the Manyata leaders, mm. those are the, the heads of families and that are recognized. And then we have our social aspect, our, we have our traditional dances, Edonga. Mm -hmm. Yes. Edonga is to dances. maintain and mobilize the youth and to appreciate our culture. Yes. So we have to jump to make sure you are okay, you are healthy. To make accountability that you are not sick, yes. you are normal, you have to yes. jump higher and you have to make some noise when you are hitting the ground. Yes. Yes, they structure the dance with all your strength. Yes. Uh, that is how we are organized. And medical-wise, we have our medical uh, medicine, people are valid, and not about it, actually, medicine men. Yes. And uh, special leaders that yes. offer treatment to our communities. Yes. Uh, they don't run short of treatment like health centers, where they even sometimes lack syringes mm. and panadols. Ours is ever there. Yes. Fresh, and we have medicine that can cure malaria in five minutes, in ten minutes. Yes. Mr. Prime Minister, yes. I want us to talk uh, talk about the culture, the traditional spiritual system of the J people. How is it set up, and uh, who, how do you worship God? Yeah, for us, we worship God directly. We pray to God directly to the Creator, and we call Akut. How could you papa? Mm, how could you papa? What does this that, intermediary is like Jesus Christ? Yes. We don't understand that. Mary, yes. we don't understand those one of my Mohammed, we don't understand them. And we praise our God and associating with heating like also in Christianity, they say the blood of Jesus, mm. the body of Jesus. For us, ours is the meat of our cow yes. and the blood of our cow. Yes. So we kill our elders. <laughs> our elders eat uh, the blood, they yes. drink the blood. Yes. Like also when you look at Christianity, the bishops and the priests mm. who bring the wine mm. in the blood of Jesus. And then when it comes to the body, it is those who are qualified to eat the body. But to us, our the body of our meat is for everybody, everybody. including a stranger. Yes. So we don't separate, we don't say this one only. <laughs> we have to eat because that is praying God needs us to be happy yes. and to eat actually. Yes. Why are we so much mourning and uh, grooming as if this world was not created for us? Yes. God has given us authority to control this world. Very well. In any way and eat everything that he has put in place. Yes. But not other people bring other things uh, to destroy other people. Tell us more about that. The, 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 the the role of the, uh, the cultural system, the spiritual system in the community? First of all, the healing itself mm. is done also by elders. Yes. Because when you are sick, 
you mobilize the mm. you call elders to come and pray at home to cast out every bad omen that has come to that home. Yes. And sometimes people get ill intensely. They can also spit on a sick person. Mm. They can also lay their hands mm. on a sick person and say, to know, Tanyo Toroto, mm. that get up and move. Like what Jesus was talking when they bring. Because I've never seen Jesus praying for the sick person. Yes. He, when they bring the sick, he said, get up and go. Yes. Your faith has saved you. Mm. So in our culture, the elders just come and pray and say, you are okay. And it automatically, you are okay. You move. Even if somebody got lost, we call, the elders call that person to come and say, within this period, he will come. And somebody who has already disappeared a long time ago will come. Yeah, we have those who can who can dream. Mm. And that dream will become true. Yes. Like we have, yes. Huh? We have those who can see the intestine of the cow, of the goat, of the mm. chicken. Mm. You say, uh, you want to survive today, you bring for me a black chicken. Yes. There it's like a book. They open and they read. Yes, divination. Yes, yes. 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 They read, they say, ah, this one is well. bad today, this one is okay. What you do, you get this one. And if you don't follow, those ones are very dangerous. They read the intestine of a, of a cow, any living thing. Mm. Then we have those ones who can dream. They will say, today, Kevin, I have, I have, I have dreamt mm. that uh, there is a rape which is going to occur yes. at this hour of the night. Yes. Please, can you migrate your trunk from there? Or there is a, a disease coming to affect the whole of the entire community. community. Can you do this? So, <coughs> with uh, the Christian name means you have been a Christian, mm. yeah? Christian. They like you have become. You are part of the Christian community, isn't it? You probably by by your parents or missionary work or something like that. But you still have uh, this background of this knowledge. Do you practice? Are you practicing Christianity here? Just a uh, yes or no? Yeah, mm, people practice Christianity. Yes, a uh, yes or no? I am practicing. You're practicing? Yes. yes. Please shed more light about Kotido district, this land of the Jay. Kotido district yes. is almost com only comprised of one consistency called G. Mm. And with a population of 178,909 people, yes. according to the last census. As I told you, Kotido district was created from Moroto district, was the second district in Uganda, I think created in 1974 or 1975. 1975, yes. By Amin. <coughs> so, President Amin, the village. So he was the one who created, who gave us a district. What I can also tell about the G is, uh, in, when they, they can revenge, when mm. you disturb them, mm. when they come to attack you, they will attack you with all their might. Yes. And they will never like it. Mm. But they will never start. Kotido is uh, uh, one of the districts, one hundred and, among the 112 districts yes. in Uganda. Yes. And, uh, it has uh, its structures like any other district also. Mm -hmm. We have uh, other structures like uh, in administration also, mm. like the cow, uh, that uh, technical part of it. Yes. Uh, in the political wing, we also have the XCI. Yes. Uh, and what I would say is uh, the implementation of the activities in the district, mm. like um, the road work, the, the road network, yes. the health services. Mm. Um, uh, the security, that one is 100%. Mm. So the two, the road network and the health uh, whatever is the most uh, 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 is the, yeah. discouraging yes. uh, uh, service that you can never like if you have to live in Kotido. And then uh, on health uh, part of it, we, we have challenges. So we have very beautiful structures in the health facilities, yes. like the Three, yeah, so the, the hospital there, it's a nice setup. But the, yeah. but the grass is growing all around. Uh -huh. So we, we lack sometimes, we always receive inadequate uh, 
medicine mm. to the people. Sometimes you go without uh, they prescribe for you, they tell you go to the clinics and, mm. and sometimes you they tell you uh, you you can buy it, maybe the syringe and bring it here. So you find uh, the most the persons who are affected is the, the local person down the castle. Why are they imposing for us medicines? Now you bring a lot of medicine from family planning. Why do you want to reduce us? <laughs> when we are few, we have been dying of cattle wrestling, killing each other. We need now to produce yes. using this piece. And then you bring again medicine to, to, to destroy <laughs> That's us. That's the irony. That's now, the irony. and yet you leave the medicine for malaria. Are you normal? <laughs> so the, if they cannot, in the next season, we are calling the health. And we can say, all Jews will not assess the health services. We can go to our traditional things. Yes, yes. You talked about the cultural, the tribal groups in the region. Like, how many are they different from the in this district? We have eight ethnic groups. Yes. Eight. In Karamoja. Eight, eight. Eight yes. ethnic groups yes. in Karamoja. Yes. We have the Hokora. Mm. We have the Maniniko. Yes. We have the Pian. Mm. We have the Hupe. We have the Jie. We have the Nyakwai, mm. we have the Rudolph. Okay. We have some minor ones like the, 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 the Kalenjiri groups, mm. like uh, Tepes, mm. and uh, the Hik, mm. and uh, Teuso, mm. the Teuso called also the Hik, and then the Nyangi and Apore mm. in the Nyangi. Okay. So those are all ethnic groups. But here, for us, we are made out of only two clans. Mm. That's Kurakola and Lodin. Plus, our brother, brothers that have come and uh, work us in town. So we don't actually call, we have just embraced them, mm. in, in, integrated them into the chain. But they, they don't have the power to go and talk in a cricket. They don't have anything. So they don't participate. Is it a vice or it's an activity, cattle wrestling? Please tell us more about cattle wrestling. What happened? For people who are very ignorant and primitive about Karamoji. He said Katora is a culture mm. of Karamoja. Yes, yes. How can something bad become a culture of something? Yes. <laughs> Katora we were not born by Katora Yes. And Katora was not been part of us. Mm. Katora was created by the British. Mm. Really? Wow. Because in the early thirties, when they brought the first immunization, the Karamojan rejected immunization. Mm. The GA, rejected. And when they were using Kakungul to bring the other parts of Uganda into the kingdom, into the protectorate government, when he reached Katakui, he was stopped by the British not to continue to go and come and pacify Karamoja. Mm. Since he is mainly focused on the cow. Yes. He mainly focuses on the cow. It is, a, it is also a practice like other people who, who steal other things from other parts of Africa also. Yes. Or in the other parts of Uganda. Yes. I would call, if I find someone who has taken someone's 100 million shillings, I would say, call him a money wrestler. Yeah. Are we saying? <laughs> yes. So, that idea, I think, has stopped. Mm. As it is a, a country which is fighting corruption. Tell me in a simple terms what what a raid is and uh, the raid is a, it's an greedy organization mm. by some clique of youth yes it has to be youth yes youth it has to be youth yes because you cannot you, you, you can't cannot get an elder running if they chase together. you for 100 meters yes you may get them yes so it is a, an greedy uh, uh, organization of the youth mm. intending to go and and rustle as uh, we said in Yes, question. Yes. So, during this exercise, yes. it is uh, organized and they first consult the, the diviner. The diviner. Yes. The one who says, I know where the cows are. Yes. Even it tells the color of the, the other cow, which yes. will begin running when they, when they, when they reach to the other area. Yes. So, the, 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 the raid is organized in a manner that is, you must be energetic. Mm -hmm. You must be harmed. Mm -hmm. Then you must consult your, your, your divine gods. Yes. Yeah, the laws of people there. Yes. And uh, of course, in the course of it, there is loss of property mm -hmm. and there is loss of life also. Sure. Because if the, the other one, uh, 
Mm, you need they to fight back. Yes, it's yes. a football. Mm. If they score on you, you go home. Yes. So you remain in yes. Have you seen? Yes. So that's how simple I can say about the rain. Yes. Maybe. In the past you had kings. Eh? Hey, we had a king. Was he also hereditary? Like he had to be No, it has actually from it came that the king was actually part of the uh, spiritual leader. Mm. That was commanding. And he had his commander called Lurian. Mm. And Lurian was his commander, bodyguard. So how does one become a king? Here, uh, one become a king when when we see the historical mm. your history, mm. how if you are living with people, mm. if you don't have any bad thing, mm. uh, you have never made a mistake, mm. and you, you can pass blessing, and you are blessing as, as effective. effective. Yes. So, so it's not that me, if I'm king, my son is going to be king. Mm, well, that's, that's some high, high culture as well. Mm. Uh, well in, uh, in closing, I want to give us some last remarks for, for, for our viewers. Um, my dear listeners and people who are looking at us, this is uh, the Prime Minister and the Minister for, for Defense of GA Kingdom. Our word is, we need the government to recognize our kingdom. We need you to move from misinforming the world that cattle wrestling is, a, is our is our culture. No, it is an habit. It is an habit that we have already controlled it. We have stopped it together with our government, the NRM government. We have worked on it. But also we needed, our last word is, we need your support. We need your prayers wherever you are. And we need us to unite as African to reject the GM food with all its, with all its beauties, with all its wealth, and all its intelligence and its scientists. We must reject. And for us, GA, we must reject it and we must take our last step. Yes. If the government want, let them go to government offices and provide those food for them, but not for our subjects, mm. not for the GA, yes. because we are to protect our people from all course of life. I wanted to strengthen on your culture like the Karmajong, like the GA. We love our culture. You get stick to your culture and don't change your culture. Because once you change your culture, you have destroyed your, your you will never be seen anywhere in this world. You will be leaning and I will not accept you to be a Karmajo because I'm maintaining my culture. We respect our elders so that you can get blessing from the Creator. You can go and you cannot go without elders. Elders are uh, example of our continuity. So we have to respect them, give them services, help them, and give them any necessary help in the way they brought us up to where we are. So respect your parents, respect your relatives, respect everybody in Africa who is bigger than you. And be African, remain African, and act African. Wow, that is a truly fascinating one, one truly fascinating interview. I, I don't think I'll ever get another privilege to be as close as possible to, to such, uh, such Africans. Let me call them Africans, not even people. <laughs> so, uh, after sharing this information with you, we now know more about Karamojo or the J community than ever before. So, next time you meet a Karamojo on the street, or anywhere, eh? I'm sure you will have uh, deep respect for these people and a deep appreciation for their culture and uh, traditions. I, for one, I I'm in love with this culture. I, I wish, I wish I could be, uh, I could, uh, what do you call it? Initiated. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to work on that that factor no, because. But the elders, the elders of our own accepted Dr. Okeo Alojokotao to be initiated. Yeah, Dr. So. Alojokotao is he's, he's, he's going to be initiated. Yes. But as for me also, I also need to be a part of this great council. <laughs> you're most oh, welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> you have to come and then we consult the elders. Uh, <laughs> you must have done something very wonderful sure. for the community. No, this so is that the, you can be recognized. This is the first step in the right direction. Thank you. But you know, all Africans, all of us are related. So we need to know who we relate to. And how do we relate to them? This is the first step to know who do I relate to and how do I relate to them. Again, thank you. Yes. So thank you very okay, much, thank Mr. You very much. Uh, 
uh, Honorable Rotega Town. Yes, Rotega <laughs> Town. And Jokota. Uh, uh, Jokota. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I have been Ramsiga Zichakunzire, your host in Karamoja. Thank you for watching.